Happy holidays everybody in Saberland. Fender Benner and Alara here from Vader's Vault showcasing our last Saber of 2009. Uh, probably the magnum opus of 2009 for Vader's Vault. We have a Saber here that combines probably everything that we've done in the last year as far as technique wise um, from translucent gold powder coating highly polished aluminum overlays, uh, flush mounted anti-vandals, uh, some serious uh, overlay design, recessed accent LEDs, uh, our 10 watt RGBA LED engine tuned purplicious purple, uh, just everything that we've you know accomplished over the years of this past year I wanted to throw into one single saber uh, to end the year on a high note and this is it. As synchronicity would have it, a lot of people have been talking with us about a Mace Windu project. And the Mace Windu being probably my personal favorite of the prequel trilogy saber uh, collection, as well as the Obi-Wan TPM saber being my favorite. So in the design cues, uh, it is heavily, heavily Mace influenced, of course, but I did throw in a subtle design cue from the Obi-Wan TPM, which you will see soon enough. I um, was trying out some uh, cool things on the lathe just to see what, you know, how close I could get to a Mace uh, design wise. So I made a rounding bit to get to the center section here. Uh, with the rounded rings rather than just your normal square grooves that uh, you normally see out of us. And then uh, I took the palace emitter that we got from Django Fett a few months back and to make it match that center section I rounded the ring here heavily modified, polished and then powder coated it translucent gold the underlay color of the Sabre is flat black powder coating uh, with the polished aluminum overlays on top. Makes a very striking color combination of the flat black, the polished gold, and the polished aluminum. Uh, to complete the mace look, we normally go with, you know, lately, a flush mounted lighted anti-vandal switch. This time I wanted it to pay homage to the mace and went with the gold-plated non-lighted version. Uh, I actually think it adds quite a bit of elegance to the saber. We've got plenty of bling with the uh, offset recessed accent LEDs there and uh, I think it does it justice to have a non-lighted switch in that position. It is powered of course by none other than the Plector Labs Crystal Focus 4.3 Saber core, and of course, being heavily mace influenced, I got outvoted on this one. Uh, I originally wanted it to be a super bright green, but as the saber just kind of took a life on its own, I had to relinquish any hopes of doing a different color. It had to be oppression stopping purplicious purple with clash flash, and it is awesome gotta say I'm quite happy with how it turned out. Uh, as I turn it to the side you can kind of get an idea of the Obi-Wan TPM profile I added into the overlay, this side cutout. Um, I needed something to finish off the profile of that overlay because in my original <laughs> hand-drawn sketch that I have on a scrap piece of paper I didn't have a side profile so when I was designing the overlay it just kind of came to me to uh, do the side profile in the Obi-Wan TPM style and match the bottom with the top. Here we've got our recessed threaded in recharge port, our threaded in aux switch, completing the design. And let's get it powered on so you guys can enjoy it. Our last saber of 2009 from Vader's Vault. Super bright, purplicious purple, exclusive to Vader's Vault. Get it dark so you can see me. Of course, on camera, in the video mode, 
Purples always seem to look pink. Nothing to be done about it, but rest assured, as anybody who has one of our depression stopping purplish purples will tell you, it is purple. And of course, flash flash. We're using the green dye again. insert Vader's Vault custom sabers maybe you can kind of see it it is engraved into the pommel insert with a unique venting design that way you know this is a genuine Vader's Vault custom saber the saber will be going up for sale of course keep an eye out for it it is very special to me put in a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into this one, getting it just right. Uh, very proud of this design. And let's get a fire back on. Sound fonts, we've got Nova Star, TFU Star Killer, Bespin from Mad Cow, Vader from Mad Cow, the Res Blade from Nova Star's CD Compendium 2. The Thrasher Vader's Vault Heavy Metal Guitar Sound font, and of course, three Eye Saber Track Collections. If you don't have Nova Star's Compendium CDs and you have a Crystal Focus, shame on you. Go pick both of them up from CuttingEdge.com immediately and get yourself some cool